Okay, so we have the graph here. And the, so what's that graph of? I'll label it for you right now. This is a, um, a curve, y equals the absolute value of x minus 2. And this guy over here is y equals the absolute value of x plus 2. And then I got this line over here. It looks like y equals 5. And this line over here, which is y equals, uh, looks like 1. All right? Let's just take a quick look at it. And what I notice is the... Um, I'm looking at this over here, and I notice that I'm between the, the, the values over here between 0 and 1, all right? So I want that x, um, x minus 2 between 0 and 1. And I led this to um, remove the absolute value symbol to the, um, the x plus 2 between 3 and 5 then. All right. What does that mean for me? it means the absolute value of x plus 2 is going to be less than 5. All right, so we, we went through that when we did the, um, when we were looking for the epsilon. I'm sorry, the delta. We're looking for the delta. All right, so the bottom line, I'm looking at this over here, and I'm looking at that. What, what does it mean to me? It's below the 5. And my next question is, I, I look at this thing, and I, I know the, the absolute value of x plus 2 is below 5. I do see that in a certain region, by the way. And I'll point out what that region is. I'm looking at this line over here now, right? And by the way, I'm looking, I want, it, I want it to be below that. And I do see where it's below that. And I'm wondering about the bounds of it. And the bounds of this thing is what the x's are gonna be. And let me tell you what we use for a condition over here. We used the condition on it that uh, the x minus two was between one and minus one. And that means the x is between three. And what's the other number going to be if I had 2? That would be 1, right? So let's take a look at that. And I'm kind of seeing the 1 over here. Let me get my ruler out. I'm going to put the ruler over here, and I'm going to kind of trace this in by the... Whoops, sorry about that. All right, so what I want to do is I want to look at the, um, the, the absolute value of x plus 2. And looking at it, it's definitely below 5. All right, so I, I can see that. Now let's go to the other number three. Oh, tricky, isn't it? And what do I notice there? It's also less than the five there. And that's what we're kind of looking at. And this is a visualization of that. Again, we did the algebra to show that. This is just a visual of showing that, by the way. Thank you.